Since the early summer, the mobile phones of Armenian and Azerbaijani military combatants have provided partial, but dramatic accounts of a new and evolving confrontation between the two countries. Back in May, soldiers filmed themselves overrunning enemy outposts shouting in broken Russian at their opponents to leave, orchestrated with kicks to backsides, punches or volleys from assault rifles fired into the air. In picturesque alpine meadows, platoons of Armenian and Azeri troops faced off, often just a few meters apart. It was a tinderbox that burst into flames on the afternoon of November 16. While there is no independently verifiable information, military sources and local media reported a full-scale battle for several hours along a stretch of border between Azerbaijan and Armenia on or near Mount Ishkanasar. Both sides have reported casualties. Armenia said at least six soldiers were killed, while Azerbaijan announced the deaths of at least seven troops. Mobile footage shows an Azerbaijani artillery unit bombarding Armenian positions. Armenia's Ministry of Defense released a video of Azerbaijani armored vehicles being struck by guided weapons. Harrowing video shot at night in a blizzard appears to show Azerbaijani soldiers beating uniformed Armenian regulars on the ground. This is Armenia and Azerbaijan's new conflict, for control of disputed borders defined by Soviet cartographers. Russia's military presence in Armenia is supposed to guarantee Armenian security, and Russian boots on the ground in Karabakh are helping to maintain a fragile peace, albeit with occasional outbreaks of localized violence. So far, Armenia has not officially requested Russian military intervention as part of its collective security treaty with Moscow. But Moscow can exert influence in a way that no other mediator can.